Welcome to Kalamazoo, Michigan, Waldo Stadium, home to the Western Michigan Broncos, where we have a terrific matchup in store. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake, as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Western Michigan Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys can't wait to get this one started. I don't care. Who do you play? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play. If you're going to talk the talk, you're going to walk the walk. Buffaloes will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Broncos offense takes the field for the first time today. Sometimes you sense that what the kids call swagger is a false bravado. This dude is nothing but real at wide receiver. He's got that speed, and it just, you see DBs, they're probably watching him come on the field right now, and they understand it's going to be a long game. This guy can go get it. He can run. He can do a little bit of everything at the wide receiver spot. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Back to throw, it's Wolf. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four yard line. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. And the Broncos decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He's got great speed. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass, using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon. You're seeing that here early. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. He's stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Throws to the tight end. Caught over the middle. It's hard. Tight coverage there did not stop him from making the grab. It's first and goal from the eight. Wide receiver shows motion. The jet sweep pass. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Takes the handoff. It's Buckley. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. 
And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down on the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, obviously, it's raining here in this game, and ball slippery. I don't know if that slipped out of the QB's hands a little bit, but it certainly wasn't an accurate throw, and as a result, it ends up in an interception. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. It'll be a run on third and short. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. The Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback. Stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third long or third and inch, you just have to go execute. And they do it. Immediately fires to the middle. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And the Buffaloes are threatening on first and goal. And how many first downs is that, guys? On this drive alone, this defense has got to find a way to get off the field. They're playing way too many snaps. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. It's still third and goal. They want to just keep throwing it. Couldn't find anybody open, just threw it away, and that's a smart move. You want to avoid the turnover, especially in the red zone. It'll be fourth down. The official says no good, and the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Soft spot in the middle. Blow the ball's on the ground. Oh, and he not only gets the ball back, he's also got enough for the first down. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Handoff to the single running back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. The Broncos are moving quickly down the field. 
They're getting this guy lathered up. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed over the middle. It's Buckley. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Personal foul. Welcome to kicker. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Man, oh man, those types of penalties just drive defensive coordinators crazy. Was fourth down, now first down. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I need to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. He's got it. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Some hard running there, but just too many defenders as he stopped for a loss. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? I think it would be great if this offense leaned on the run. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Western Michigan. I love running backs that have a nose for the goal. I understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Just broke the tackle and still on his feet. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Complete to the right. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They'll leave it with him. Nice move there. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. The Buffaloes have it with a first and 10. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock like this. Oh! He got away from the D. They had no shot at catching it. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you pad my stats. I like those long touchdown passes where I just threw it really short and he did the rest of the work.
Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Troy went on the road and silenced one of the most vocal crowds in football. And it's clear this Trojans team has adopted the mantra, let your play do the talking. They'll run it from the gun. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks. That's number two on the day. Having a day. I mean... You know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this. You keep finding them. I don't care who you play. You play to win the game. You don't play to just play. If you're going to talk to talk, you got to walk the walk. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he made that extra point, the wet turf, no problem at all. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no. And the ball's out, and they're after it. That football must be riveted to your rib cage. How can you let it go? At least they fell on it. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the... And he coughed it up, and good thing he got it back himself. The Broncos will call on their punt team. Well, the running back really lucky. He jumped on his own fumble right there, and he's going to have to do a better job of keeping five points of pressure on the ball and with ball security because you put it on the ground, you find yourself on the sideline in this offense. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Looking for space. It's Hayden. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw, using the quick game. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the big fella. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Buffaloes! No step back in week three. They have been sharp as they extend the lead. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. 
And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be brought down. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. He'll do it himself. And the Broncos get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Quick release on the RPO. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Broncos line up to punt it away. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. They'll try the run. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. To the air, it's Sanders. They're trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front, and they won one right there. Getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play, and they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Fields the punt. Wants to make a play. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Running back searching for a hole. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Takes it from the gun on third down. Complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. He's looking for a man on second down. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off throwing into double coverage. Man, the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. He got it. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Caught near the sticks. It's Hayden. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. To the air, it's Sanders. Unloads to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. He's got it inside the 30. Turns it on down the left side. Touchdown, Colorado! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing him go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. On to attempt the try. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they light up the scoreboard covering 65 yards on that touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. And he's to the 48-yard line. That would be good enough for a first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Unloads it left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Looking for the end zone. And they won't make the connection going for the big play. Still on the 35-yard line after that incompletion. Here comes second and 10. Looking to throw it again. He'll take another shot here. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. To the air, it's Wolf. And the pass is intercepted. Got room on the return. The 30, the 20. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Bucks. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Ready to try the point after. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Purdue is currently trailing, but this has been a back-and-forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Bob Greasy, this might not be over just yet. They're trailing by 10 to Notre Dame. 
We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Right back up top on second and ten. It's caught. Really confident throw and catch there. Big kick up, and they have a first down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Got a man in the middle. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen, you got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking it. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Wolf. This one's complete. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand. Touchdown, Western Michigan. What a grab and go for the score. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's perfect. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. From inside his own 15, trying to... Oh, the ball's out on the return. The kicking team's got it, and they take the ball right back. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. And here comes the offense on second down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. He splits to the uprights and puts three on the board. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, you have been calling a great broadcast today from there in Kalamazoo. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you gotta believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, Let's send it back to the guys inside Waldo Stadium. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we're just about ready to go in the second half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Zings it complete to the right. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch. And they finally drag him down. Lining up from the 34 on first down. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. 
Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Looking for a gap. It's Buckley. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Trying to pick up a first down. Wants to throw on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. And the Broncos will send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he's looking downfield. With the catch, it's Hunter. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. Trying to pick up a first down. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Power football with the run. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. He's got the tight end. And he delivers the blow, and he's still running. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. And that's a really nice job executing by this offense. Third down, defense expecting pass. They had a plan. Quarterback drops back, gets rid of the football. Nice job after the catch. And a great job setting up a first and goal for this offense. The Broncos have it in scoring position on first and goal. Wide out in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Western Michigan! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ballgame. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Powers forward. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Wide open, he makes the catch. He's loose. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And the stomping has commenced. And it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers. 
get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Wyoming needs to pick up the pace, but this puppy is far from over. And with that crowd there in Laramie behind them, I'm kind of banking on a comeback. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to BYU. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And incomplete on the deep ball. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. He's got his man. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And the Broncos will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. It's complete. He makes the stop at the 48. That'll be enough for a first down and a pickup of 10. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open, couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. He wants to throw it again. Grab near the sticks. It's Horn. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game. Fires and picked off. Got some room to run. The 40. At the 20. Touchdown, Broncos! The defense put six on the board with a big-time interception return. What about the speed from that defender on the return? And he's showing you, Reese, like, listen, it's not just wide receivers that can do that. I can take this thing to the house. I got some moves. Watch this. Unbelievable job flipping the field. Offense about to score. Defense makes the huge plays and gets points out of it. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. Wants to go up top. Coming after him. The pressure gets to him. Quarterback is sacked, and the two-point attempt is denied, and the lead stays right where it is. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. Looking to throw at Sanders. Safe completion on the screen. 
Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Inside four minutes to play here in the third. If you like the stats, and I know you do, he's over 400 yards passing now. Yeah, if they win this game, he's getting a game ball. There's no doubt about it. This guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game. He's been throwing bullets all over the field. Hands it off. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete to the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Trying to get to it. He's got it and still on his feet. They make the stop at the five-yard line, but they've got it first and goal. Well, he has been the go-to guy all game long. He's been lighting up the scoreboard. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area you've got to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping him. A couple more downs here to stay aggressive. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado! And the beatdown has ensued. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. PAT unit on the field. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point in the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throwing the football. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. On the run, it's Wolf. Quickly out to the tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. That last completion has him set up, second and short. Shoots it to the left. On target over the middle. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. The Broncos are on the move. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. They're going to throw it again. Fires to the wide out. Lost the defense is wide open. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. And the Broncos will have it first and 10. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them. And they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success. But they're still taking shots. And their players are still out there competing. The run from the shotgun. 
They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Well, the defense basically played that one perfectly, right? Against the RPO, they did a nice job staying back, hanging, watching the quarterback's eyes, and taking away any throw. And when he decided to try to keep the football and scramble to his left, they were all over him. Great job defensively playing together as one unit on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. It's complete on the right side. And they knock him down in the backfield. Outstanding play by the defense. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Throw to the end zone, picked off. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They move the tight end all over. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. Mate. Yeah, and that's a great job by this offense. And I'll tell you what, fourth quarter, you have the lead. That's exactly what you want to do. Lean on these guys, run the football, eat that clock. How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards rushing in the game. Doesn't look like he's slowing down, guys. Throws for the tight end. It's complete. Touchdown, Bucks, And the route is on. They tack a little more onto this lead, and they're on their way to a 3-0 start. Nice job on the route and catch by the tight end scoring that touchdown. And it doesn't matter what play this offense calls. All game long, everything has been working. This has been a master class in offensive productivity. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, fellas, here's a final update on a top 15 clash. Arizona came through with a lunch pail hard hat performance, and the end result is an eye-opening road victory. And I guess it's not so much that they won, it's more how they won. And the fact, this wasn't ever really in question. No cupcakes this week, fellas. This top 15 battle was much anticipated, and at least one side can say it's a game they'll savor for some time. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. He's got his man. Makes the tackle at the 25 after a five-yard game. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Looking to throw, it's Wolf. Works the middle of the field. Out across the 30 mark, down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. New set of downs after that completion. And the offense here dialed up a really good zone beater. Give credit to the offensive coordinator. He called the right play at the right time. Just a little off. Incomplete. Still on the 35-yard line. They'll try it again on second and 10. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under... And he's running in the open. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Let's go. We got some life. We, we made a big play. Something to build off of. We need a lot of points, and we need them quickly. Time's running out. We're trailing big in this ballgame. 
How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Second and ten after the previous play. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. From the shotgun, the inside give. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. I know that was tough, but as a quarterback, you got to know on fourth down, you cannot take a sack. Any way, shape, or form, you've got to be able to get rid of that football and give it an opportunity. That time, I know it wasn't blocked perfect, but the quarterback's got to have more sense of urgency. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job, opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive work. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Jukes his way for more. Tackled, but he has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. From the gun. Give on the inside. One-step wrap, two-step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The Buffaloes have it with a first and ten. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Got the first down and more. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They're in the red zone. First and 10 from the 20. They'll leave it with the lone back. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. give to the running back and a good solid pickup for the defense cuts him down here comes a third down situation and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down plenty of fireworks in this one a lot of points they always talk about having the chalk last and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last lap it's amazing how much offenses has just boomed in college football. So good, so many ways to hurt you. And you saw both of these offenses put on a show today, Jess. Dave, we talked to both of these coaching staffs, and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep all week. They knew this was going to be a tough task ahead of them. So much speed, so much firepower on both of these offenses. And man, we saw that here today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.